Hey guys, so we're back in the garage. This is not actually video number three. This is a video to answer a question concerning can I run my two AC300s off of a uh, single outlet or box if I'm not running them in the split phase mode. Um, and the answer would technically be yes and technically be no. It's going to be how is your environment configured, both the load on this line and then also how have you configured your two AC300s to pull what amperage from the grid to, to do charging. So if this line here already has other components attached to it, I'm obviously already taking some amperage from this line. And if this was a 15 amp, I know this is a 20, um, not only because of the breaker up there, but because of this receptacle style here. But let's pretend this is a 15. And I have downstream somewhere additional appliances or something else that's already pulling a load. Well, I don't have a full available 15 amps here. Um, and I plug a, an AC300 into this outlet and tell it to pull 15 amps, I'm probably going to pop that breaker up there because I've exceeded a load. The second item is, is even if this is a dedicated uh, circuit just for my two AC300s, and this is once again a 15 amp line or a 15 amp circuit, and I put one AC300 up here and the second AC300 down here, not in split phase mode, but just in a standalone mode for each, the top AC300 is going to pull 15 amps and the bottom is going to pull 15 amps. Well, now you've just pulled potentially 30 amps at the same time. Once again, you're going to pop that breaker that's uh, up there because that's only a 15 amp circuit breaker. So the way you can kind of get around this that um, I can see is on your AC300, you can change the uh, grid power amperage from that 15 amps down to a lower value. Uh, and on that lower value, you can say, um, the top uh, or the, the first AC300, you can set it to two amps charging. And you can set the bottom one or the second AC300 to also two amps. Well, now you're pulling four amps here. So obviously I haven't exceeded the 15 amps that's up in the uh, breaker box. Now, why would I maybe go to a lower amperage? Well, one, it's because I, I only have a certain amount that's available to the circuit. And then two, at least for my own personal use case, I want my solar panels to be the primary source of charging my system. And if it's in the middle of the night or have a higher load and I need some grid power, I want this to trickle charge it. I want to control that this is not going at, you know, 15 amps. I ideally want it to be two or three amps or even maybe just one amp. I'll have to base it off my load. Um, so that is one alternative method for using one um, receptacle or one outlet box. The other option that you have too is to go to another circuit that you have in your house or maybe in that room. Um, over here I have another receptacle and I personally know that this is on a different um, uh, circuit breaker because I installed it. But two, uh, I can go to my circuit breaker and shut off the power for this one and know that this one over here is going to still be working. So I can clearly know that they're two different, let's say, 15 amps and I got another 15 amps here. Another way for me to check this too is I, and this is the reason why I have this extension cord here, just so I can extend that outlet over here is the same method that we did before. And that's just checking the voltage between those two. So if I come here, let me grab my leads real quick. I go into hot. Okay. And I go into hot over here and I'm into the extension cord at this point. Okay. What that's telling me obviously is I'm at two different phases of power, which tells me I'm on two different circuit breakers. So um, I know that it wasn't a very straightforward answer of me just saying, hey, yeah, absolutely, you can take one receptacle and you know run both of your two AC300s. Well, it's not that simple. It's just like if you were in your house and you were to plug in a vacuum cleaner or something that's a large appliance, or let's say it does pulls a large current and you suddenly pop your breaker. Well, it's not necessarily your vacuum. It might be everything else. Let's say all these things that are plugged into this line that's consuming power already. And then you have just plugged in another uh, appliance and exceeded what this is capable of doing. So I hope to answer that question. If it didn't, let me know and I will try to um, explain it uh, a little bit better or maybe I didn't see something uh, that's another option. Let me know.